All right, a turnaround is on for General Electric. Christine Short, SVP of Estimize. Cash flows were positive this quarter compared to the negative cash flows we saw last quarter. Yeah, they had a big turnaround. You know, the beginning of the year wasn't great for GE. They've seen a turn turnaround a little bit in the second quarter here with a beat on the top and the bottom line, although the stock was kind of all over the place this morning just because that was a year-over-year negative growth for revenues. However, an improvement, of course, from the first quarter. And, you know, they pointed out, look, there was still some weakness in oil and gas equipment. That shouldn't be much of a surprise. The producers are not really demanding that equipment. In fact, you know, producers have cut down on supply to help bring that oil price back up, which we've seen was a little volatile this quarter. However, it's been great for energy. The energy sector is actually expected to be the biggest leader this hmm. quarter. Profits of uh, about 400 percent, which of course has to do with the lower year over year comparison. However, you know, that was a strong point for GE, or a, a weak point rather, the strong points being healthcare, renewable energy, which they're really committing a lot of capital into, and then power. So there were strengths that were able to offset some of the weaknesses this quarter. For and GE. of course, this transition to digital, which of course yes. we know that the jury is still out as to whether or not GE can get to $2 per share of earnings by 2018, but a lot of the positive results here this quarter was due to cost cuts. Yeah, they did a bit of a restructuring. They certainly pulled down costs. So you need to look at that when you're seeing if a company really beat or was there things that were done, uh, accounting manipulation sort of done to get that EPS number in line. So we know that there was cost cutting, but it seems to come out on the strong end for them. We know they're having a CEO rollover on August 1st. Yes, this is so Jeff Immelt's last quarter This is his CEO. last quarter, so he's only got a, a couple of weeks left here. And so we'll start next quarter with John Flannery as the new CEO, see how the the change in management sort of shifts the focus there. All right, now that we have GE's earnings, I mean, what's your take on earnings season overall? Obviously, we had great results from Microsoft, mm -hmm. Netflix. The banks were pretty good. I mean, yeah. bond trading was bad. So give us your take on earnings so far. So far, we're off to a very strong start. I think to see many of the industrials, such as GE, Honeywell this morning, Lockheed Martin, CSX, so many beating on the top and bottom line, that they are really a proxy for global growth. Mm. So they started the season expecting to be at about 3% year-over-year -year profit growth, kind of low. I think that number is going to come up as we see more beats. Like you said, some of the big tech names, Microsoft, you know, kind of overshadowing. IBM didn't have as, as great numbers earlier in the week. So Microsoft's really kick on with, kicks off what's going to be a very heavy tech week next week. Mm -hmm. Banks, yeah, we knew fixed income trading was going to be lower. Uh, equity trading was going to be lower. But investment banking revenues actually came in a bit higher. So a bit of a mix here. But I think so far as the sectors go, each sector is off to a pretty strong start here. And of course, earnings growth is what we need to get stocks to new record highs, even though they're already at record highs. Yeah, right now. I mean, we need to see a growth number that justifies the rally that we've seen, and to see a PE for the S&P 500 that's trading at about 18 times right. forward earnings. So, uh, you know, it, last week when the season sort of kicked off, we were at about 8% expected profit growth for the S&P 500. But I said, if you take out energy, we're only at about 4%. 4% mm. is about the historical 20-year average. It's not great. Um, but I think, you know, typically we see 60 to 70 percent of companies beat. That number is going to come in a bit higher. But do be aware of that very high energy number. I think it's kind of making everything a little murky right now and just making things seem better than they really are. We'll be watching how it plays out. Christine Short, thanks so much. Thank you.